Hi, I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's Web Fishing Report. First off, I'd like to remind you that the ASMFC's 73rd annual meeting is taking place this week in Mystic, Connecticut. Among the many topics being addressed this week will be the extremely popular striped bass regulations. Striped bass will be addressed all day Wednesday and the Atlantic Striped Bass Management Board will be meeting from 10.15 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. The meeting is open to the public and I strongly urge everyone capable of taking time to attend the meeting be there. It's expected that the official vote will take place sometime after 1 p.m. I'll be there for sure and I hope to see all of you as well. Moving on to magazine news, the November monthly issue is due out this week and we cover all the popular late season topics from tracking the striped bass migration to late season togging to a look at the fall surf staple, the needlefish. So give it a look, you will not be disappointed. Lastly, we have the final installment of my three-part video series sponsored by Pen and Spiderwire. In this episode, I address the topic of fishing the surf in waders and I, I cover how I approach dissecting an outflow, a very popular late season surf fishing spot. Moving on to the report, going to begin in Connecticut. Now I might sound like a broken record player, but once again, the best bite in Connecticut waters this week is the excellent back black fishing being experienced all across the state. Bobby Jays over in Milford reports some absolute lights out fishing going on in the West Haven breakwaters with some anglers reporting catching upwards of 60 fish on a boat of three to four anglers. Obviously they're only retaining their limit. Also at Fisherman's Paradise in Brantford, they report some awesome black fishing going on in their, their area. Shop regular John Frio nailed a pair of fish weighing 10.05 and 11.35 pounds this weekend, and Chris Jensen had a pair of tog going 10.95 and 9.35 pounds. Congrats to both of those guys on some excellent catches. Over in Rhode Island, there's some more great fish, black fishing going on off the Rhodey Coast with some mixed bag action supplementing the catches for the party boats. Both the Francis Fleet and the 7Bs out of Point Judith report regular blackfish pool winners going well over 10 pounds, and most of the trips they're peppering in cod, sea bass, scup, and even a few massive fluke at times. I know one of the Francis Fleet trips this week, one angler had a double header of fluke that was pushing 20 pounds, with one a little over 10 and one just shy of 10 pounds. Regular is up the season, that's a great catch, let alone here at the end of October. Up in Massachusetts, there's still some regular reports of striped bass being caught north of Cape Cod. Pete Santini of Fishing Fanatics in Everett got word of blitzing bass throughout the week off places like Revere Beach, President's Road, Deer Island, Mary Earhart Dam, and Long Island. And then we heard from Thomas Tackle up in Salem, who also reports some very good bassing going on up north, with stripers of 20 plus pounds being caught around Cape Ann. Just goes to show you that there's still plenty of bass to the north, and barring any major weather events in the coming weeks, we should see, should see this season push on through to November and likely into December as well. So there you have it. That's this week's Web Fishing Report. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines on the water. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.